right, so we back. Um, so the next step in this process, we are gonna put a DNA high performance air filter in this bad boy. Why? I don't fucking know, but when I was looking into the whole flash thing, people was like, oh, if you flash, you should also put in an air filter and the DNA air filter is what kept coming up. Uh, so, you know, it's a fuel saver. That's very important. Environment friendly, also very important because we just can took out the cat. Uh, competition tested. It didn't say that they won. Oh, wait, wait, wait. World champion air filter. Yeah, yeah, my butt. Increased performance, maximum filtering, long life, washable and reusable. Um, yeah, this bad boy came from Greece, the EU. DNA performance filters are used by many top race teams and tuners all over the world, officially and unofficially. That's us right here. We are unofficial tuners because we're not going through um, all them, all them, what's it called? So this is what it is. All right. So I figured I was like, because the air filter is is in that black canister that's under the, underneath the ECU. So I was like, if we're doing all this, we might as well do the air filter too. And I'm glad I thought of that because I don't want to take this bike apart again. Once it's back together, I'm not, I'm not taking it back apart. Um, unless I got like a buddy, you know what I mean? Um, the ECU is already out. Um, and all that's stopping us is some Phillips head screws all the way around. So I'm gonna use my electric impact and we're gonna make light work, work light work of this. Cause just came off Put it right there before I forget. I'm a very forgetful person. That's why I'm nervous about putting this back together because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Well, I know I'll be able to given enough time, but I should be able to put it back together a lot faster than when I took it apart. I don't know if that's gonna be the case. Get off. It should be going a lot smoother than, I, than it should be. So maybe I'll just speed this up in, in editing. All right. I really hope I'm not fucking up these hoses by constantly lifting this up. Get y'all a better view. So once all the screws are up, Should just come up, come here. There's something else holding this on. Hang on. Yeah, so it's something else holding these on. It was supposed to just be screws, and that's it. But of course, it's never fucking easy. Ah, the center bolt. Boom. Boom. Okay. So that is the air filter that we're gonna be replacing. This bad boy, this this clunky, ugh. Oh, let me put it back down. Boom. You see all that, that, that space up in there? Yeah, that's gonna do something. Don't know what yet, but it's gonna do something.
right. And that's it. We replaced it. Now we have to uh, just put everything back. So I'm gonna drill down, put the, the air filter box, whatever the it's called. I'm gonna put that, drill that back on, and then I'm going to secure the tank because again, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get to this next. I assume it's gonna be in a few days. Um, so I really don't want this because it's not really attached to anything. The only thing that's holding it on here is the is the hoses. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna play it safe. Both the both back on there. box is back on and we're still waiting for the ECU so yeah, they call me a girl.